I'm working on this Friday's project, which is a lamppost. And each side of the lamppost will have a flat panel, and inside the flat panels will be a piece of molding. And I just decided to make the molding using the Williams and Hussey molding planer. I'm building the majority of the project out of AZEC, which is it's basically PVC, and I'm using AZEC because that way I don't have to worry about the wood rotting. And I'm going to make the molding using the Williams and Hussey molding planer. Now, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on Friday talking about this machine, but it's really a pretty cool machine, so I thought we'd just take a minute and look at it today. This machine works just like a thickness planer. You have a rotating head, and attached to the rotating head is a cutting knife. This knife happens to be for making cove molding, but you can make any kind of molding really with this machine. And in fact, you can make custom moldings. All you would need to do is make a scale drawing, send it off to the company, and they'll send you back a knife. This is the cutting head for making a base cap molding. And if I trace it, you'll be able to see what the molding profile would look like. Now I'm going to make a few pieces of molding, and I'll start by ripping the material at 5 eighths of an inch. I've already set the depth, so all I need to do is plug the machine back in and start her up. Alright, well I've used AZEC a lot in the past, but I've never run it through the molding planer before and it worked really pretty well. Just a little bit of chatter at the very end, maybe the last three, four inches. But that also happens when I run molding through the uh, molding planer, or not molding, but wood. I hope you'll tune in on Friday and I'll see you then.